it's Jackie and I am back with another lock retwist update. So it has been 18 months since I have started my lock journey and I bet y'all thought I was never going to come back and do another video but I'm here and hopefully I will be much more frequent with my updates. I'm hoping at least once a month and hopefully I can throw something else in there um, during the month so I can at least get two videos out a month. So I just want to update you guys on what's been going on with my hair because it's been a while and you haven't seen it. So um, just a couple days ago, I did my whole wash and retwist routine. Um, Y'all, I hate, 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 hate with a passion. I hate doing these retwists. And because I have moved recently in the past couple months, I have not found a lactician. Um, and I really don't know that I'm going to look for one in the area just because paying 60 to $70 every month or every three weeks to do my hair when I know I can do it myself just seems like a waste. So um, even though I hate the process, I do it and it's fine. So this particular time I um, just did my normal wash, normal condition. Um, the only thing that was different was I did use some tea tree shampoo that was like a more clarifying shampoo because my hair just felt really dirty to be honest with y'all and so I wanted to kind of strip it clean then add the moisture back in and um you know just just to clarify it um just a little bit more than usual so that was the only thing I did differently um I twisted with clips I have not graduated to twist without clips yet and um, sat on the dryer for about 40 minutes for everything to set before I um, took everything down and went to bed because it was late. Oh my god, it was so late. Anyway, so I just want to give you a few updates on my hair. Um, like I did say before, I am 18 months locked. Um, well, my lock journey started 18 months ago. I haven't been locked for 18 months, but y'all get my drift. Anyway. So, um, a few things to point out. One, my little fake wannabe dreads. This is one, twin number one. And it has finally started to bud, like, a little, little bit at the end. And so, you know, let's applaud this little punk because it took forever for this thing to, to start even to bud. I started that sucker, like... April maybe maybe even March and that sucker still has not hasn't budded so I don't know um now this little punk over here on the other hand is still just so short that I I can't get it to lock every time I wash it it comes undone it's just like a little tuft of hair and I know that my hair has broken off from in both of these places actually from wearing um box braids and um Senegalese twists and all that so I know it's broken off and it's, it's growing back but it's taking way too damn long because I got full long locks and then this mess I can't even deal anyway so those are two issues the other issue is a thinning lock and y'all I never thought I never thought I would be saying that I have a thinning lock but I have a thinning lock um so I want to show that to y'all if I can find it let me let me see up in here if I can find it. I always grab for the wrong one. It's like I know the area that it's in, but I always grab for the wrong one. I might not be able to find it. For real, y'all, I might not be able to find it for y'all. Dang. Here it is. I found it. Okay. So I'm going to try to show it to y'all. Hopefully you can see it. But what I have done is twisted two locks together and I have put a rubber band on the end of it. So I had, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had my locks separated around like month four or five. So they had just started locking and um, I was seeing another loctician who had made the parts too big and then Damien was like, the first couple times he saw me, um, we worked on separating out my locks and making them 
a respectable size because could you imagine if I had locks double this size? Um, I know people do it and it looks great on them, but I cannot imagine it for myself. So, um, yeah, but he separated some of them out pretty small and that was one of the like super small ones and I showed my husband and he was like, it's hanging on by a thread. So I retwisted it with another lock and then I just lightly twisted them together like the dread, the dreaded hair and then put a rubber band on the end. So hopefully when I go see Damien in October, he's not going to trip about it because, um, by the time I see him those roots will be locked together. I know they will because my hair, even when I just leave it by itself, my hair starts to lock together. Like it is, it is so ridiculous and I have to, you know, pull apart little by little um, when the hairs kind of start to lock together. So shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'd rather that than have like dreads falling out because then nobody have time for bald, bald spots. So quit playing. Um, other than that, everything else is going good. I'll do a 360 for you guys so you can see what is going on with my hair. And, um, check out the hang time though. It's like on my neck, starting to graze my back, so it's pretty fun. And here's the front. Um, you can see my edges up close to see what they look like. And over here. And here is the top. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, they're coming along. I retwist them once every three weeks to a month. Um, I don't do anything else with them. This is probably the only hair accessory that I use um, now that my hair fits in a ponytail. You will find that once week two hits around, yeah, week two, these suckers are, I just have my hair up constantly. Just, it's, I didn't get these dreadlocks to be styling them and for them to be all versatile and everything. I got them because I am lazy. I'm not lazy, but I don't, I'm not a, a super high maintenance person. And so I would prefer to just have hair that I can get up, shake, spray, and go um, and throw on a ponytail when I need to. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this update. If you have questions about my dreads, you have questions about um, anything whatsoever, drop them in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Adios.